import from spreadsheet on zoho recruit now if your organization has large chunks of data available in a spreadsheet format and are looking to import this into zoho recruit you can go ahead and select the module in which you're looking to import the data for click on import and then select import from spreadsheet you can then review the various spreadsheet formats that are applicable within zoho recruit and the size limit as well click on browse select your spreadsheet and upload it once you're done you can then go ahead and determine the ownership of the records whether you would like to select import my candidates where all the ownership of the records will be assigned to the user who is importing them or you can select import my organization candidates where the ownership of the records might vary from one record to another once you're done you can go ahead and determine whether you would like to enable manual candidate approval if enabled all the candidates will fall into the approval bin of the candidates module and then you'll have to approve them to be created into the candidates module you can then determine if there are duplicate records found as a result of this import whether you would like to skip overwrite or clone them and if you select skip or overwrite you will have to select a unique identifier of that respective module as well that way system can identify duplicates and perform the relevant operation you can then select skip empty fields during import now for example if a record already exists within zoho recruit and you have the same record available on the spreadsheet but you might have one or two columns where the cells are going to be empty but what if there is data already available on the relevant field on zoho recruit if you enable skip empty fields during import the system is going to prioritize the information that is already available on zoho recruit and retain it without overwriting it with the empty value available on the spreadsheet you can then go ahead and select advanced options under which you can assign a candidate ownership rule or in other words an assignment rule as well that way the ownership of the records will be auto assigned as and when the import is happening relevant to the criteria on the assignment rule you can select the encoding followed on the spreadsheet format as well which is typically set to utf8 you can then select the workflow task that you would like to execute as a result of this spreadsheet being imported and you can select the date format followed in the file as well now keep in mind whatever date format that you select here has to be universally followed across all the date data available on the spreadsheet any mismatches will create errors for you during your import once you're done you can also select the job opening to which you would like to attach candidates to from the spreadsheet import and keep in mind you can only select one job opening you can then select the source from which you arrived with these candidates from or this can be a column on your spreadsheet as well if you choose to skip it at this portion and you can add any relevant tags as well once you're done you can go ahead and click on next and confirm and because we selected import my organization candidate and we selected assignment rule we do not have to map the candidate owner but if no assignment rule was selected you need to have a column on your spreadsheet where the emails of the users are going to be listed that way the ownership will be assigned automatically you can then go ahead and map the columns on your spreadsheet to the relevant fields as well and if there are any attachments that you would like to import against specific attachment categories as a result of these spreadsheet import you can scroll down to the bottom of the page where you can see different attachment categories available now for each of these attachment categories you can create a column on your spreadsheet and against each of that rows or records you can add the file name that needs to be mapped to that particular record once you're done adding the file name you can go ahead map that column to the relevant attachment category and to the right of it you can browse and upload a zip file that contains the actual file itself that way when you click on next and run your import the system is going to cross reference the file name available on that particular column against the record with the zip file available and when it finds a matching file this file is fetched from the zip file and mapped to the relevant record during the import process so once you're done you can go ahead click on next and complete your import process and if there are any duplicates available on the system 
the system is going to automatically update it against the relevant portion whether it is skip or overwrite and update the relevant records accordingly.